Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. She died peacefully on Thursday afternoon at her Scottish estate, where she had spent much of the summer. Over her seven remarkable decades on the throne, the Queen consistently proved herself to be as powerful a leader on the world stage as she was an effective guiding hand to the British government behind the scenes. A steadfast source of inspiration, she vowed in a speech on her 21st birthday to devote her life to the service of her people, and this was a promise to which she held true, despite never having expected to become queen. The first child of Albert George Windsor and Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, she was born in London in 1926 and grew up there alongside her younger sister Margaret. When her uncle King Edward VIII made the unprecedented decision to abdicate in 1936 after marrying the American socialite Wallace Simpson, her father became King George VI. Following his untimely death in 1952, the princess was called on to ascend the throne when she was just 25 years old. Crowned in 1953 at Westminster Abbey, she declared, I am sure that this, my coronation, is not the symbol of a power and a splendor that are gone, but a declaration of our hopes for the future, and for the years I may, by God's grace and mercy, be given to reign and serve you as your queen. Many commentators have noted that the young Princess Elizabeth had the natural temperament of a strong and capable leader. Winston Churchill remarked that at just two years old, she exuded an air of authority and reflectiveness astonishing in an infant, as documented in Churchill, Walking with Destiny, and her childhood governess and teacher Marion Crawford wrote in a 1950 memoir The Little Princesses that the young Elizabeth emanated an orderliness and attitude of responsibility. During her reign, the Queen is estimated to have visited more than 110 countries, expanding the number of Commonwealth member states from 8 to 54. She helped many of those nations, including the majority of Britain's former colonies in Africa, gain autonomy. In 1991, she became the first British monarch to address the U.S. Congress, calling on politicians in both countries to sustain harmony between Europe and America. But perhaps her most historic achievement for Britain was to overturn the 300-year-old primogeniture rule, winning daughters an equal right to the throne. She was also a patron of more than 600 organizations supporting causes including wildlife conservation, education, and the arts. Research by the Charities Aid Foundation confirmed her status as one of the world's greatest supporters of philanthropy, with her patronage helping to raise more than 1.4 billion pounds a year collectively. The Queen's legacy will make itself felt all around the world. An inspirational figure who never wavered in her duty to the British people, she safeguarded the place of the monarchy in British society and secured her place in our hearts, ensuring that her memory will endure throughout the ages. May Her Majesty the Queen rest in peace.